And we are back. Turn on a little bit of tunes. Yes, I'm playing. Alright. So, I'm starting page 10 on Saspinot. That's page 8 there on the left. Using for color reference as I try and adjust the flats. Uh, and by adjusting the flats, it just means I'm trying to change all the colors to the the base the base color I use. Doesn't take too long, you know, but it's work that needs to be done. Probably should be. I see she's got these marks on her face. They aren't exactly clearly drawn in this version of this character's appearance. I can still indicate in color. If I feel like I need to add lines, I'll do that in the process. Just trying to get all this dialed in. Shoulder. In this in this stage, I try to also find uh, where flats don't quite aren't quite accurate. So I want to make those adjustments as much as I can find them. You know, I may find more later. That's okay. We'll see how long tonight goes. Uh, we'll get a few people joining in here. I'll probably run normal, normal length. If it doesn't, if nobody joins, like is more often the case uh, on for whatever reason on Tuesday nights, I'm, I may cut a little early. Uh, it's, my dog is sick. You know, I want to go do whatever I can to help him. Not that I can do much. But he's not feeling good. He's puking. But he's loving the attention. He really is. It's funny. It'd be funnier if he weren't puking. My little, my little fur baby. Such a jerk. As if everything isn't stressful enough. He has to, he has to go get sick and make us super concerned for him. I think it's just because he he wanted the attention. Like everything feels all right. I might bite my lip like the silent type. You might make a fist like you trying to fight. Got ghosts that haunt that home. And if you didn't want that known, then don't put it on a throne. You separate the foe from the friend by the showmanship and the bones that don't bend. So now I'm studying your mind. So we haven't actually seen this character's back before. And now we're seeing part of it. So we've got to try and figure some of that out, like how it's, you know, the actual costuming.
There's been a weird thing happening in my Photoshop. You see how? So when I went to start doing these lighting selections, I did just do uh, a multiplied fill over the whole page. Just give, give myself a little more contrast to, to better see the selections, I and mean, it, it really didn't matter. But filling the entire page, it's it's not solid. It's it's a bit of a grid, so there's kind of some inconsistencies in my flat, which not a big deal, but it's annoying. And even though we all equivalent, we gotta hold on to the differences. We gotta stand up for what we won't fall for. Let's get a round of applause for all of all of y'all. I love you like a brother, even though I'm not your brother. We all got a few flaws, but let's try not to get too lost in the applause. I love you like a sister, even though you're not my Don't sister. Say. We all got a few flaws. Once I get the costume sorted, I may need to go here and fix my flats channel. The the boots aren't really drawn up. They'll probably redraw boots here. That, that's a tendency that happens at times. It really is. I mean, it's a little more stupid company name. They were a little more prevalent the ten years we in this series than and focused instead on most of the other jobs I have. I think that may just from become from the, straight to your door. the so newness that it gave was. I mean, this, uh, this is his first comic, so get started at bombfell.com slash stupid for twenty dollars <clears throat> off your first order. That's bomb F E if it's learned. Hopefully this kind of Geico knows there are many going off model is something that you of the other need to learn because there, there are instances and always there for you rain or shine to the amazing savings especially you after this issue she's fired in six there was, there was a few but for Bucky a few more instances of being really off the model and we needed to have my helmet hair I was born go back to draw I've like, tried to cut it a like bunch of times even buzzing it Sasquatch on him and he drawn four issues of all of a sudden the, the, 15 minutes could his face like it, it didn't even look like Sasquatch on anymore in a lot of instances I'm not quite sure what happened Ooh. and when he went in and we did it it was fine you know it looks a bit different stylistically like it's 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 the same but it's different that's also the one, Ooh, excuse me, the one kind of downside of having spent so much time working on the book. You know, I mean, he probably drew these issues over 18 months, 24 months maybe. It was, it was a while. It wasn't like traditional comic for just you know, six months and a book each month. We didn't have that speed in us. Not, not due to him, due to my needing to raise money. To pay him to draw it and also uh, getting everything written. I mean, that, that was wholly on my end. I wasn't any shortcoming on his. That was just my trying to have the money to make sure I could pay him because he's a fantastic artist that deserves to be paid just like anybody else who does any work why does it keep repeating songs? I could finish this song already and now we're playing the same thing I don't understand what's what's going on. I 
I noticed that earlier when I was streaming earlier today using this thing. It would play a song and start over, but it would play it twice. It's not like it would stick on repeat forever. I mean, there's no setting on there for repeat, so. The song's not listed twice. I don't know. My goodness, I'm tired. <sighs> so this is the page nine. That's what I was working on earlier today on the stream. You know, jumping on. And you want to go see that. I finished that page earlier. Um, but there's a couple touches after. My daughter came in and needed needed uh, attention so there's only maybe five minutes worth of work done after the stream ended when she finally went, went down went down but did not nap because she is stubborn Stubborn like her mom, right? Like her mother. I've never been stubborn in my life. There's a pencil of a sketch card that I've been working on. Pounds of tracks. I need to get it markered and inked. That'll be for one of the one of the pledges on Kickstarter that's currently running right now. Uh, offering us some sketch cards. And there'll be a bit more detail once I get it inked in color and stuff, but you yeah. know. It's not bad, but you see why I hire somebody else to draw the actual comic, because they're better than me. I'll stick to sketch cards and doing headshots and busts and just having fun. Having fun with that. If you tune in later, watch this later or whatever, if you go back and watch part one, you know, I, I labeled this as part two for the day. You can look for the date, part one of today's date. I worked on the last two panels of this page specifically. And, and this panel in particular, you know, I've gone on, if you've seen it in you see how I go and make, a, make lighting on the layer. Well, on that panel, I had to completely redo that panel from scratch just because this lighting effect behind her was something I established on a pre previous page and I didn't think it all through. 
so I had to come in and do that. But fortunately, I was worried about this page. I might have to come redo this one. But fortunately, for whatever reason, I already worked from this. And so when I implement this glowing light thing that's, that I'm doing, I'm not going to have to redo this panel. So that's pretty cool. That makes me that makes me pretty happy because I was not looking forward to redoing another panel. It took a little bit of time. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. these later panels I'm not I'm gonna keep the lighting effect like I have on this previous page I'm gonna do it in the first panel maybe a touch of it in the second panel but it's gonna be gone by the third so you see how it gets a little more these first two panels a little more intense a little more yellow and brighter that's just due to the headlight effect that will be prevalent. But because that light is there, I also need to make the base a little darker in that panel. I think this song's almost over. I'm gonna see if this thing goes into repeat like it's been doing. This time it moved on. Good. Oh, <gasps> good. Just a little bit set. This is what happens when you turn her down.
Let's see, uh, I might actually change the light. See, now it's restarting that song. It's a short now song. It just starts and it starts. Rapid ordering and pickup. Just something. order on the Panera app online or drive to your local Panera yeah, and order repeat. curbside. Once you park, just tap off. I'm here and a Panera associate will bring your food right out. And you can enjoy Panera's complimentary free Wi Fi while you wait. Enjoy all your Panera favorites with Panera curbside. And use offer code curbside5 to save $5 off your order of $20 or more now through June 14th. Available at participating U.S. bakery cafes. Restrictions may apply. For details, download the Panera Bread app or visit Panera Bread. How to improve your dining room by the Home Depot. New wood floors, new paint on the walls. Sure, you know us for that. But how about a new dining room table? This is one of those. I want to. Bar stools. I kind of want to change it because she's all. With easy online returns. You know, large, large. Now you can explore uh, decor in a whole her new different. way. Save now on furniture. Everything Lighting. for your home. Everything from HomeDepot.com. How doers get more done. US only I want to get it to limitations apply. Consistent. I think that's all right. These first panels have that lighting effect I'm going for, so we'll be there. Got a little more redder and intense. See, this is with her back. I haven't really seen it before, and I, I kind of implemented this sleeve thing, but it's sort of. I don't know. I mean, what I guess I could probably do, maybe make that like this part that's wrapping maybe she's just you know that's probably what I'm gonna do hi green serendipity how you doing nice of you to join so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna just have that be kind of a wrap around Yeah, I think that'll work, other than this background being in here. If you have any questions, Green Serendipity, just feel free to feel free to throw them up in the chat. I'm not sure if you've ever jumped on one of my streams before. It's pretty low key. Uh, but I am just working on coloring uh, pages from my comic book, my creator own comic book. Well, I'm glad you just stopped by. This is from issue four of my comic book called Savage Sasquanaut. It's about Bigfoot in space and crazy adventures he has. Uh, and this is actually from issue four, uh, page, Page 10 
on issue four. And yeah, if this issue in particular, he's going up against a dream stealing space siren. So that's that's what we're doing here. And thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, let's see, where am I going? So this is so this is page ten that I'm working on. Uh, earlier today, I finished streaming page nine. That's that's this page on the left here. Specifically, earlier today, I was working on these two panels. So the, these carry over into that. What's happening is she is transforming to into this illusion of a character in the series. Uh, just kind of the mess with Bigfoot's mind. So, and then the next page, she's back to her normal look. So these lighting effects I'm carrying over. So I keep this other page open to refer back and, you know, know what I'm doing, hopefully, or at least remember what I'm doing. But to do all that, I got, I go hide all those effects. So I can just see the color and get the base colors that I can then manipulate and choose. And what I do when I work in this very heavy selection style is I tend to work out a lot of my lighting before I get into coloring. So for, for instance, let me actually just let me finish this slide before I make it myself a little more trouble than I need. <laughs> So you can see I've got line art and then we do what are called flats. And then from flats, I start, I go and make this, which to help. So I do that on the layer. So I've got the intense main light as the highlight. And then this blue is just kind of a secondary. And I do that on a layer just so I can concentrate specifically on lighting and not so much color choice when I'm doing it and so then I come back and which is what we're gone now I come back start changing colors and, and making the colors what they need to be uh, so I can instead of my having to sit here and contemplate and figure out all the lighting that's mostly done already I just have to do color so it, when I work in this style, that's that's what works easiest for me. Uh, when I this hard selection style, I you know I've done a lot of it over the years, and the niche, and it used to be I would even do that stage on paper. I would make printouts of the pages, and I would actually hand draw them with like a a color pencil or even a marker, and do that because I would just keep fighting myself mentally trying to color while figuring out the lighting. And for whatever reason, in this particular style, it always, the two steps were always hard. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, color, like my job is coloring comic books. That's my full-time job. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I am a pro. Uh, if you see the top left corner on the stream, that's just a, a rotating carousel of different cover images and, and commissions I've done over the years last few years it's, none of that's too too old but yeah so most of my stream most of my streams are focused on coloring and I'll discuss the thought process either about the coloring the approach uh, the technicalities, you know, but a lot of it's just based in the the 
the creative process the reasons i th i think of this or that so i hope that it's beneficial for people even outside of actual coloring pages because you know that's that's kind of a a, a niche market but people uh people always create all kinds of different things uh this comic yes i did create it i am the creator i write it i hired the artist i actually i paid somebody else to draw the pages for me from my script and then i'm coming in and, and coloring and lettering it so i do some drawing but i am not this good at all this is this is a work in progress. I, I showed a little while ago. It's kind of a pencil sketch on a sketch card I'm working on. It's one of the characters from the series. What I'll do, that's the initial pencils. I'll go in and I'll use markers to uh, color it. And then I'll ink it and finish it up all the details. But yeah, pages, I let other people draw that because they are much better than I am. This guy, let's see. Here's a miss in the flats. I need to fix that so I don't lose it later. Use that and that should be that. All right? Okay. <laughs> it it can definitely seem like that uh everything i do like everything i do it you can learn this like yes there are people that may pick it up faster than others but these aren't these aren't like skills inherent to anybody you know other you know, obviously, if, if somebody's colorblind, they're going to have a whole different set of challenges. But but everything I do here as a colorist, you know, I truly believe you can learn that. It just it's a matter of time and effort, you know, like like everything else and study, you know. Finally, getting getting into this. Okay, cool. The good part about having it, the lighting part already figured out, is lets me get through a lot of this basic rendering pretty quickly because the lighting the lighting part, uh, in my eyes, that's the hardest part. That's the most challenging aspect of it. So getting that done is a uh, it's half the battle. That's that. I do a bunch of keyboard shortcuts. So if you see anything specific that you're like, how did you do that? By all means, please. Please ask, and, and I'd be happy to go over and help, and go over anything that you see or have questions for. You know. See, I think that's probably shoulder blade. No, that's not shoulder blade. That's like an armor. Maybe that's that's probably more of this gold. Because you know she's got this gold piping that wraps. So I'm thinking that's probably that. This is the first time I've seen any part of the back of this character. So now we're only just now seeing, I've got to figure it out because the model sheet I have for this character, it's only the front. So I don't, I don't think there's another spot where I see her back anywhere. So we never, we never had to figure that part out. So seeing a little bit takes a little bit of stop and thinking, trying to, to suss it out a little bit, but that's okay. That's actually kind of fun for me. It may, it probably shouldn't be, but it, but it is.
Yeah, see that's... I didn't fix that. That's my bad. If you want an SUV that's on the move like you, check out the first ever Encore GX. Okay. It's finally that's, here, and it offers advanced tech features yeah. to help you make your fast-paced yeah. life look easy. Visit Buick.com for great offers on the Encore GX. No matter how big or small your business is, making your own ad on Spotify Ad Studio is as easy as one, two, three. One, let us know what you want your ad to say and pick out your music. We'll voice and produce it at no extra cost. Two, reach Spotify listeners Dark in the based base on their interests, too, demographics, of the light, music so. tastes, and more. I'm gonna go three, set your budget, set your dates, do and that. you're done. I don't need that on all the panels, just the, these, because I'll have the backlighting, so I'm going to want to learn more. the base just a touch darker than it usually is. So a lot of times, this is a continuation of scenes for the last few pages uh, have been kind of in this scene. So usually when I'm trying to figure out how a scene will look or, or what needs I need to make, I'll tend to start with the background first when it comes to coloring, just because the, the environment will help me figure out the actual lighting uh, but since I've already actually established that over the last, like, five pages, uh, I'm gonna go and do the characters first, because that's not so much funner, but just right now, I just, what I feel like doing. So, but a lot of times you'll find that I, I do the background first. And that's, and the reason is just so I can try and figure out exactly what I'm doing on the page. Even further still. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest. That's an exact, an exact, accurate description. Just whatever I feel like right now, I just feel like doing the people because uh, I'm tired of the backgrounds. It's the backgrounds are a lot of work right now, and, and this particular stream, I'm not quite sure how long I was gonna last because I never know if anybody's gonna show up. I always hope people show up, so I'm glad you're here. But if I lasted an hour and nobody showed up, I might have just signed off a little bit early. Because tonight my uh, my dog has gotten sick tonight. Currently my wife is watching him because he keeps throwing up and that's not fun. But he's really liking the attention, so I think he's going to be okay. I really do. Uh, otherwise, I, I really wouldn't be here at all. But yeah, he's... Don't like seeing him feel bad. Not very long. I just started... I, I literally just started maybe the end of April? Like the very, very, very end of April. I'm, I'm new. I am completely new to the streaming game whatsoever i i never even watched twitch until until about mid-april and you know all this pandemic stuff which is like hey well here's something new to do let me try this so it's been pretty fun you know this i get i tend to have a few more people show up during the day so you know 
but it's funny. I've, I have a mailing list and I was like, hey, when do you guys want me to stream? And they're like, at night. And, and I had the same number of votes for Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday, which were the days I gave them. So I was like, okay. I personally wanted to do Tuesday nights. And I was like, cool. There were still a lot of people that said they wanted on Tuesday. That'll be great. And just, like, I might have to switch to Monday or Thursday. <laughs> if the Tuesdays don't pick up anytime soon, we're going to... We might try one of the other nights as the regular scheduled. But it's been interesting. Like, it really has. Like, I never would have. It makes total sense, but it's not something that I ever thought about. But, like, oh, yeah, there is a marketplace that caters specifically to people streaming on Twitch, providing backgrounds and graphics and all kinds of stuff, and it makes absolute complete sense, but it never ever registered to me. And so when I just started getting this, I was like, oh how do I do this? And they just open this huge can of worms the uh, possibilities. And it's funny, my brother got super excited when I started doing this and he was trying to trying to convince me to become like some Twitch superstar overlord guy that makes all kinds of money. I'm like, okay. He was more excited about it than I was, which I thought was really funny. I was like, I just want to like hang out, chat with people, you know, talk about comic books and movies, you know. secondary it's been mostly pink in my secondaries but since her highlight her like secondary glow that's established so you can see my secondaries here it's all been kind of pink based uh but in these two panels you have kind of had these really intense red pink glow so i opted for a a blue highlight yeah he is my biggest fan he actually he was on earlier he was he was lurking in the stream. I didn't even know. I knew somebody was on, but I didn't know it was him. And then a mutual friend of ours jumped on during his lunch hour at work to say what's up. And that's when I found out my brother was even on. <laughs> it's funny. But yeah, he's he's huge into Twitch. He watches like Twitch streams and gamers and stuff all the time. So he knows a lot more about it than I do. So he keeps trying to like, it's like, oh, do this and that. It's like, oh, that sounds cool. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about half the time. But he wants me to be Dr. Disrespect Part 2 or something. I'm like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> so he had to show me. And I did the blue highlight and I did blue. So I'll probably need to maintain that kind of blue highlight through here just uh so part of the reason why Sasquatch white in these pages uh that happens earlier in the issue so if you end up wondering like man why's he got a white bigfoot bigfoot's not white well He's actually trapped on this world for like years and years and years and years in this story. So he grows old or he appears to grow old at the very least. So we, we end up losing all the colors just to try and make him look like old man Bigfoot.
So yeah, I'm I'm not just doing it white because I think he's the abominable snowman. That's a different character. That's that's this character on that page. I made the Yeti a, a, a woman. And since Bigfoot got captured by NASA and shot in the space, I had the Yeti get captured by Russian cosmonauts and get shot in the space. So he's Sasquanaut and she's Silva Yeti. If you, if you want, let me, let me, I'll post a link here in the Twitch chat. Uh, if you, if you choose to go check it out, it's actually to my current running Kickstarter. Uh, there's kind of a story so far on the Kickstarter campaign, just so you can see like, Hey, this is kind of what it's about, you know? Maybe you dig it, maybe you want to pledge, great. If you don't, it'll at least give you an idea of what I'm doing, you know? What I've decided to do, I just do solid white on their eyes. I like the effect it gives. It just kind of makes everything, makes their eyes really intense and pop. Most books I don't do that. And I've even been doing that with, with the teeth even in this series. But I figured as an old man, uh, I decided to, to not do the solid white it makes it it helps kind of give him a little more different look and sell the idea of of his being older somewhere probably starting to get this piece shaped together mm-hmm 
I see you went to the page, yeah. Bigfoot plus astronaut equals Sasquanaut. Yeah, the whole, I mean, the, truly the entire concept behind this book is to have fun and just kind of be able to do any crazy notion that sounds like fun to me or that I feel like exploring. So, I mean, I can do everything from a, from space dinosaurs to mole people or whatever I feel like yes it's it's a ton of work it really is it really is I mean it's I don't know what else I would do I freaking love it like having the finished book there's get ready to get your there's not really anything else like that feeling but yeah there's there's a ton of moving parts and Guaranteed to cook up I have every time we partner with family ranchers. I have started a comic book company. I have run run a comic book company. I've worked with professionals. I have worked with amateurs. And it's melons and stone fruit you've been waiting for. It's awesome. It's infuriating. <laughs> it is a labor of love. You know, I, I truly don't know what else I, I would or could do. I've got so many, so many more ideas to do. Like, that's the on. That's honestly the worst part. Is there's so much I want to do, and want to accomplish, and stories I want to tell and explore and have fun with. And there's just there is not enough time in the day and days in the week and weeks in the years to to do everything I want to do. That's kind of that's the that's the main thing that 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 sucks. Because <laughs> I want to do it all, or do enough of it to realize whether or not the idea is worth doing. Because not every not every single idea I have or anybody have is actually worth pursuing. But I have. A laundry list of ideas it's literally a list I write out whenever something pops in and you know they all start off really good and they all sound like a lot of fun and then you don't know if they're gonna be any good until you start and you can do a lot of work and have it not go anywhere but all's not lost I've, I've had I've had scripts I've written that never end up being never came out but I've actually repurposed pieces of it to place in other stories and parts of other scripts so it's it's not like hey this book came out all this work I did and time I invested went went nowhere and was a waste of time it wasn't because one it helped me get better and two it helped me make another project come to life you know so that's all right Well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. If you're on Twitter, uh, I have the exact same screen name, Sasquanaut, as, as the channel name. So I try to announce anytime I'm there. I don't, I don't, use Twitter too often other than to announce hey I'm going on Twitch 
Uh, I am on. I am also on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, those may actually be linked to the page. They should be somewhere. I don't know. It's Twitch. I'm still learning it. I'm using the Twitch Studio because it was a whole lot easier than trying to learn open broadcast. It's for the best. Twitter's a cesspool. Instagram. Instagram. I'll give you the handle. I don't ever announce when I go live on Twitch there, but I post semi-regularly. Right now I'm in a I'm, I'm promoing the, the Sasquanaut, so everything I post is in regards to that, but, you know. Once the campaign ends here in a, a week and a half or so, it'll it'll go back to the regular scheduled program of posting covers and artwork and whatever that, I, that I'm doing. Some of which I may color on, on Twitch. But I'll, I'll try and keep most of most of Twitch focused on my book, Sasquanaut, here. Uh, just because some things I work on, I'm not allowed to show. Like, in the process. Uh, I, do, I do have a commission I want to do that I'll probably do on Twitch. And that's a, it's a Fantastic Four one. So, that'll probably happen here. I'm, I'm thinking maybe in about two weeks. I'll probably do most of that on Twitch. So, I'm regularly on about this time on Tuesday nights, uh, Tuesday 8 p.m. Central. Uh, but uh, I also stream during the day, off and on. And that's that's always random. Whenever I do the daytime, like kind of okay I've got I'm able to sit down and do two or three hours work straight and that's when I'll I'll try and put on some twitch that's nice. where where are you located if you don't mind my asking. Oh, really? Nice. A buddy of mine that actually just... I haven't I haven't seen in about 10 years. Uh, he's, he's from Ireland. He's actually living in the UK right now. He moved since the last time I, I saw him. And... and he found me on Twitch just about two weeks ago, and that was that was awesome. And it was also like Tuesday night, and he's like, "Oh yeah, it's about 3 a.m. here." I'm like, "Oh my goodness!" I'm like, why are you awake? I've become old. That's that's late for me. I've I've with with the baby and whatnot. I don't stay up that late anymore. I used to. That used to be prime time for me. But I've gotten old, old and lame. I'm boring. <laughs> yeah. That is late. But yeah, off and on during the day, usually, let's see, it's, it'd be about 11, usually anywhere between like 11 and, and 3 typically, my time. So that probably, that probably be closer to your prime time. You're from Spain initially? Oh, nice. My buddy Montos just immigrated from Cuba to Spain this last year. He is very happy to be in Spain and not in Cuba. That is the one thing I do like quite a bit about the internet, the streaming, the, the, the social media stuff. So, we can all just kind of come together and, and, and meet and hang out and talk comics from all over the world. And that's, that's freaking awesome. Dude. I love it. Let's see. What do I want to do next? Yep. 
I need to go. Like I just I just went and since I started Twitch, I've started going and following a bunch of channels, but I haven't gone and watched like 99% of them and I need to go do some of that so I can research on hopefully how to do mine better cuz you know I'm sure mine's not most the most engaging and I need to learn learn to improve it. So, hey, we got another new follower. Cool. Sketch Inc. Very cool. Well, thank you. But yeah, I'm going to go probably during the day. It's one of those things. It's like I either stream. If I'm streaming to like, hey, this is what I'm working on. It's cool. I can't go watch streams to learn how to get better at streaming. <laughs> so it's kind of a vicious cycle. I want to learn how to get better, be more interactive and interesting. Uh, if if not for your sake, at least for mine. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to go ahead. And... Yeah. But yeah, this is the thing. It's like, oh man, I've got an opportunity to stream, which means I, I I have time to stream, which that would means I have time to go watch somebody else's stream. But, you know, I appreciate that. I, I do. This is one of those things where I figure, you know, as somebody who's venturing out into the Kickstarter world and, and self-publishing, I figured this is a fantastic way for me to be available and approachable and, you know, if somebody chooses to go back a project I'm creating, they can always come find me at some point on Twitch and interact and see that work come to life. So I think that helps give people a sense of of security because you know I know I'm very cautious with with what I back on on Kickstarter you know I, I think that's an amazing platform and you know I, there are a couple projects I've, I've backed a few years ago that I've never gotten you know and they may come through they may not you know but I figure for my part I can try and help alleviate more of that wonder and worry by being completely available live and in person at, at least once a week, if not more often. But I mean, I'm really easy to find on, on Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram and all that. So this is just one more way. Which is really funny because you know, as as most artists, I, I am no introvert. Or, or I'm no extrovert, I should say. Engaging, engaging with people isn't exactly my uh, strong suit. Though I'm okay with conventions. I, I I'm okay with conventions. I don't I don't know why that is. I've always been okay with like working a garage sale or anything like that and that's that's just kind of how I view a convention is just another garage sale what do you mean there's no harm like in in getting out and like talking to people I don't know I'm just being the introverted nature individual Yeah, yeah, there's no harm. 
I will say it's it's helped in some regards because this is the third Kickstarter I've been running. I don't know if you watched the video. The video on this one is a whole lot better. It's not awesome, but I am a whole lot better on the video than my first few Kickstarters. My first through through first few my first few videos I had to make. Very very awkward. Very 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 uncomfortable. You know. But doing Twitch for like this last two months or so was actually Capital One knows very good in helping make credit card. not hey, so We've got stiff TV and TV rigid of a, oh, of a video. With a K. Your free trial of movie plus so that's good. That's part of the reason why. I figured I could uh, if you want to continue or cancel. So meet Eno. hopefully learn a few tricks on here to Eno try and loosen up. Free trials expire. It helps if you need to fix them. Eno. Another way Capital One is watching out for your money when you're not. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Limitations apply. Maybe. Maybe. I don't even know what I want to do. I don't I don't particularly want to get into the background tonight. <laughs> what time is it? I haven't even been doing this this long. It's been a long day. With the dog getting sick here at the end and the child going crazy and we've gone we went and did a really long walk this morning and we went swimming like it is it's been a long day it's been a fun day up until the last little bit with with the dog but yeah let's see my horse so th this this little guy back here that's who I call the laser unicorn. And he makes an appearance on this earlier page. So you see him here. You know, he's got kind of a, a laser horn, kind of a, a lightsaber for a, for his for his horn. So forgetting to fix the flats on this bit. I've done it for a few pages. He doesn't appear a whole lot in this issue, but he appears a bit and I keep not fixing the flats, which ends up causing me a lot of trouble later. I don't mind, I gotta go put out the recycling again. figure out a bit of the lines here. So this dude's got six legs. You know. They're aliens. They gotta they gotta not look quite right, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like the unicorn too. I really it's one of those things where I wish I had more pages because I, I would love to do more with it. Because right now he's he's almost a throwaway gag, but I really like him or her, whatever it is. I, I don't even know. I don't spend enough time with it to even figure that part out. Let's 
it's crucial, but it's a critical bit to the story, but it's not part of the narrative, if you will. Man, I got another sneeze cooking up in there that's just not going away. This will go away. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you coming around. Have a good night. Sleep well. Thank you for the compliments. And now she's got the boot she's supposed to have. And just repeating the same song. Alright. Cool. 
and I got this cool texture brush. I got it from being part of another project that unfortunately didn't pan out for me. The whole project was a complete disaster for me, in fact, but I got a couple cool brushes out of it, so I guess it's not a total loss. I think I want to go check on my dog, so I'm going to call it out for the night, and we'll do this again later. Bye.